Alright guys, so we are back for our third episode. In the previous episode we discovered that our party from the other night with Rachel Ember went viral. Everyone's just talking about it. Okay, they're assuming like that we are BFFs now, which we might become. We saw that Chloe has a complicated life because she lost her father quite recently in a car crash. And her mother is trying to make her and her stepdad get along, which is like an impossible mission. But we're trying. Alright, now let's not be too late for school. What oh. The hell? What have you got here? Twitch. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. That's Nathan Prescott. Oh wow. He looks different. This is some really weird crap. It's not yours. Give it back. You're such a loser. You're both losers, let's say. Guys, no need to fight. You can both be losers. <laughs> the mute speaks? Oh. Whoa, whoa. You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Ooh, wow. That's not nice. Dick move, Nathan. Oh no, he's gonna throw it. You're a piece of shit. I am going Stop to it. kill you. Big decision here. Nathan Prescott in the first chapter of Life is Strange, so the original game, is like the main asshole. But as you can see here, he looks more like the nerdy guy. So I guess he was kind of nice before everything happened. The Prescotts is a rich family and they just made a big donation for the school. So that's why he got the position in their team. We could stay out of this and let him get in trouble. Or we could step in. I think I'm going to step in because it's more interesting. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Idiot. idiot. You're not used to a word that big, are you? You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? Got me feeling sorry. Congrats. You've actually got me feeling sorry for Arcadia Bay's most spoiled brat. You want a piece of this? <laughs> a piece of bromance? You your budding bromance with Nathan? We won. Chloe just owned you. Yes, my shut man. Shut the fuck up, Fresh Oh, me. man, come on. You shut the fuck up. Oh, wow. Go Samantha. Oh. Rachel oh, Ember. Okay. You're here. We just met last night, so calm down, girl. Calm down. Oh, my father. I have broke your hest to say so. Dearest in the world, many a lady I have eyed with best regard, <laughs> and many a time had listened... Sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. She does look awesome. This is getting as Ooh, surreal did as you see last that? night. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. Does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that is hard. We need a fresh perspective. <laughs> what is the happening? The question is, has she actually just met the love of her life? Miranda is an idiot. Miranda is an idiot because falling in love is stupid. <laughs> what is she, 12? <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Keaton. They're falling in love. I'll just be a minute. Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. It's getting intimate. Sure. Chloe! My pants get lonely without my belt. Ooh, she's changing right there. I'm sure Rachel is a nice girl. But she must have her demons too. Oh, uh, we found something. We're not supposed to. Rachel looks so happy here. She's with her dad. Why is she carrying this photo with her? Interesting. We might have something in There's common. There's Rachel's belt. Is this your belt? Yes! <laughs> Should we bring it to her? Or throw the belt over? Let's bring it to her and see what happens. I really liked your costume. Thanks. Did you bring flowers for my dressing room? <laughs> I'll owe you. Uh, <laughs> I guess I owe you. I'll hold you to that. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber? Last night was amazing. I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. <laughs> but then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Oh, that smile. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Let's get the hell out of here. Sorry, mom. Well, I'm late for school. <laughs> Again. Let's have fun. The view's amazing. We're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. 
Play it cool. Is this nervousness? We know that, that feeling too. Feeling is? Wish Max were here. Oh, I know you're doing your best. Love you. <laughs> I feel irresponsible right there. <laughs> so, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Max. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. You seem to have some kind of Jedi mind powers over Mr. Keaton and the theater crew. I guess you could say I'm good with people. Yeah. Don't pull that stuff with me. You will get on this train. <laughs> Life needs a little mystery, Chloe. Let's do something fun. Two truths and a lie. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. One day, I'm going to climb Everest. What's She's ambitious. Thing? I'm a Leo. Meow. I'd say Leo. She's not a Leo. <laughs> You're way too lucky to be a Leo. Afraid I was telling oh, all the right. truth. I thought both of the, the rest Seriously? were truth. The lie was New York. Oh, I've wow. I've never been there. Though I want to one day. Your turn, Price. I wanted to be a pirate as a kid. I used to want to be a pirate when I grow up. Arr. I love science. I love science. I think Neil deGrasse Tyson is the shit. And then a lie. I broke my hand punching someone. I once broke my hand punching Stephanie Kowalski in fifth grade. Bitch took my yoo-hoo, knocked her the fuck out. <laughs> I see you like to write notes to yourself. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. And well, in the future, Hella will be one of Chloe's favorite things to say. Of course you wanted to be a pirate. Sail the open seas. Did I mention my love of booty? <laughs> <laughs> You say you love science, but you are failing chemistry. You're saying failing chemistry means I hate science? Or that Blackwell doesn't inspire your best work. That place is a hellhole filled with shit, where shitty people go to be shitty to each other and themselves. About this broken hand story. <laughs> a bitch takes your yoo-hoo, she's gotta get got. <laughs> Damn straight. <laughs> but you didn't get that scar from punching someone. <laughs> well, shit. I always thought I was a good liar. Good thing you're pretty. Ooh. Hey, wanna listen? So, are we heading outside? The field train, all over again. <laughs> are you one of us? I think they're falling in love. Oh, bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. Sometimes I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Not again. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out. We're here. You already happened what? with Max. Where is here? Jump and find out. Fuck it. Hey, <laughs> it's actually a pretty nice view. Glad you approve. I have a new game for us to play. This game involves spying on people from afar. That's not working. Hey, spare some change? Sorry, we might have some leftover food when we're done. What? <laughs> no, I'm not. What kind of food? Rachel Amber is, is a nice and interesting girl, but she can get angry too, as we could see. You know when something kind of amazing is happening, you don't always stop to think about it right away? And the more you think about it, the crazier it seems until pretty soon you're psyching yourself out and then everything turns to shit. Yeah. Let's not do that today. Looks like I might be able to pry it open with the right tool. How about a... nail file? Yeah, maybe I can unscrew it. There you go. I stand in awe of your powers. Nothing interesting in the distance. Let's look at this guy. <laughs> Super wedgie. No matter how fast I go, I'll never outwalk this wedgie. <laughs> What's going on with these two? A child sacrifice. 
And the Lord said it, thou shalt make a burnt offering of your firstborn son. <laughs> Who are you talking to, Dad? <laughs> oh, the couple holding hands. All right. Let's see. Didn't you tell me you were ambidextrous? <laughs> no, I didn't. I said I was ambisexual. Oh, so you can have sex with both of your hands? <laughs> exactly. <coughs> Wanna see? Only if you let go of my hand first. <laughs> Make out session in three, two, one. Wait, that's her dad, no? Nailed it. Damn. Yeah, hey. I think it's her dad. Are you alright? What are we doing? You're supposed to be Chloe Price. Yet we've been ditching now for hours and we haven't even gotten wasted yet. Oh, that's not nice. They have a bottle of wine. Let's steal it. <sighs> oh my god! <laughs> Look at her. And the Oscar for best distraction of wine toting pictures. Such a talented actress. To? Rachel Amber. No! I've seen this kind of thing before. This woman clearly has a wound that needs to be sterilized. There's something off about this. Are you girls putting us on? No. Rachel, run! What the hell? <laughs> I failed hard there, guys. Around the train tracks, my favorite spot. I remember this place. And it's not for the good. I won't spoil the first chapter, but it's it's a very, very hard time there. Let's call her out. Let's see what's wrong. I thought we were having a great day together. Why are you acting like this all of a sudden? I'm not acting like anything. I just want to be left alone right now. I'm just saying I understand. No, you really don't. Fuck! Ooh, wow. Uh, She's drunk and angry. Shit. She gets smashy when she's angry. I can work with that. Can I see? Sure. I asked you to leave me alone. I know you're the school princess and all, with the DA daddy and the perfect grades, but seriously? Fuck you. I'm leaving. You can't leave! Watch me. I don't want to ruin this the way I ruin everything else in my life. She feels lonely. And what is this exactly? Oh wow. Is it just a friendship? Is it something more? For me it's something more, so I'm gonna answer that. I mean... Fuck. Like... A friendship. But... More. I know. Weird, right? It's just... Today was the best day I've had since... Since my dad died. And oh. when I almost ruined it just now... The way I ruin everything, it made me realize whatever's going on between us is special. Chloe, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. But I can't. I know it isn't fair, but it's how it is. Goodbye, Chloe. Man, she confessed her love and got nothing. Now we're angry. Fuck this place. I can only smash it. You know she's fake, yet you can't take your eyes off her. Who else do I know who fits that description? Ah! Fuck off, Rachel. Ah! I've never understood your hard on for cameras, Max. You took a million pictures of us, and not one of them showed that you were gonna leave when I needed you most. Toolbox. David, let's smash it too. If you wanna rip a family apart from the inside, it's important to bring the proper tools. Fuck you, David. What is it? Dad. Smashed the car. Reminds us of the car crash. Could it truly be his car? Let's smash it. And again. 
the emotion is too strong. Alright guys, so that's it for this third video. We slowly started falling in love with Rachel Amber. We even got to confess our love. But I'm sure, like deep, deep down, Rachel loves Chloe too. But it looks like she cannot live this right now. Hopefully things will get better in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you there.